Hi guys and welcome in this new video. The goal of this video is to explain you how to import some historical data from interactive brokers using Python. Because if you are using a machine learning model, a technical indicator based trading strategy, you will need absolutely to have historical data, even when you will put your trading strategy in live trading. But here we will not focus about how we can create a robust algorithmic trading strategy properly, because it is done entirely into the AlphaCon program that combines e-learning videos, monthly project, and seven day of a seven support. Here we'll focus on importing the bars from interactive broker and we'll try to do it very quickly because it's very easy. To do so, I have created a small Jupyter notebook and I have put the link to obtain it into the description of this video. So first of all, we need to import the object contained into the IB InSeq library, then the Pandas library, and this code is only there because we are using a Jupyter notebook. If you are using a .py file, it's okay. You don't have to put these two lines of code. So first we need to connect us to the platform like we have seen into the previous video. Here we'll not code anything together because it's very, very straightforward. So I will focus on the explanation to make this video as quick as possible. Here we are connected to interactive brokers thanks to the TWS platform and remember, you need to keep your platform, your TWS platform opened in the backend. Then we need to specify the contract we want to extract the data. And here you can find a list of the different contract you can have on interactive brokers and how to create the associated object to it. But be careful for some assets, it's not allowed to download the historical data, especially for the Forex sometimes. So once you have created your contract, you need to import the bars. To do so, we'll use the request historical data function from the IB InSeq library. And it's pretty straightforward. First, you need to put the contract. You need to put the end date time. So here, if I put nothing, it means that I want the latest value available because it's quite easy to understand. If I have a trading strategy in live trading and I need always, for example, for each four hours, the 20 last bars, okay? Of course, I need to take the last 20 bars, but the most recent bars each time. So I will keep that empty. Then you have the duration. So it means you will take your data over which period. Here, it's for example, one year. Then you have the bar size. Here, we want to import a four hours bar, but you can take a one minute, one hour, and so on one day. Then the what to show parameter will allow us to specify which price we want to take. For example, we'll obtain the open, high, low, close, volume, and so on. But for the prices, we want the bid price, the ask price, the midpoint between ask and bid. You can have the adjusted last, you can have a lot of things. But for us, we'll use the trade price. It means it is the last traded price. Then these parameters will allow us to specify that we don't want to take the data only from the regular trade hours. So we want to have all the data available. And the format date is just the format we will have for the date. Here we have chosen one because it's the best. And if I run it, I will have something not really readable. Okay. I will have the time zone. I will have the date time for the date. I will have open eye volume. So it's not really readable because we need absolutely to translate that into a standard data frame that we can use later into our trading strategy for the development and for the live trading. So to translate that into something very readable, we'll just convert our bars object coming from the IB InSeq library into a data frame because we know 100% how to manage a data frame. And then I just transform my date into a date time object to be sure that it is really readable for us. And I put it as index. So now I have a correct importation for the data containing open, high, low, close, volume, and the bar count. And now we can disconnect us from the IB platform because the goal here will be to create a function with all the code we have seen, which is not a lot. We have seen maybe 10 lines of code. So we'll convert all this code into a small function. The goal will be what? The goal will be to 
place this function into one Python file, okay, and just call it when you want. So if I run this cell and I try to import the eight hours bar for the SNP 500, I will just put that and I will have them. And if I want the data for Apple, I just need to change here the contract, okay? And I will have the data if I want Amazon, I just have to change the contract. So it's pretty straightforward to import the data using this function. Again, to find the code, you just have to go into the description. You will find the link to the repo GitHub associated to this playlist, and you will be able to download the code and to use it into your own toolbox. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to drop it into the comments and see you soon in the next video.